But this time S1 is present, so it's going to be even more of a challenge for him to take it to Grand. And why do you think that uh, S1 is going Mario? Do you, do you think he has a point to prove? No, I, I th yeah, S1 uses locals as places to train and test his secondaries and fun characters. And he's definitely a NES specialist already, no doubt to it. But Ness, you know, he has a couple of rough matchups. So, oh, oh hello, no! Skipper! Skipper combos. But yeah, S1 uh, is definitely has a reason, in my opinion, to look into secondaries. And Mario, it's a great option as a secondary. Okay. So yeah, S1, uh, he got he got popped for the first talk. Let's be real. Yeah, he did. He got absolutely manhandled by Skipper's middle ice plumber. Yeah, luckily for him, S1 up smash for away from basically yeah, But ever since out. then, he, he's not yeah. been letting up. Catching Skipper again and again, so working all the way up to 136. That kill move is imminent. You cannot shield against him. Okay, I like that. It didn't work, but ha did you see what S1 has been doing by the ledge? He short hops and doesn't commit at roll distance. Then people go for normal getup, probably afraid, hold up shield, and then he punishes with the grab. And then at like a third or fourth time, you get an interaction at the ledge. He does the same thing, short hop at the ledge, but he goes for the up smash. Mm -hmm. And most people would be conditioned by then to roll because they are expecting the grab at the ledge. And then they would get caught. And even if they don't, even if they are like Skipper and they stay at the ledge, it's safe because up smash has so little end lag. Damn, and at the edge, Skipper's just giving a knuckle sandwich. Yeah, Skipper is doing great. Holy on to this stock. This time he does it. Walks forward slowly. Skipper thinking he's gonna get the punish on the ledge because it was a regrab, no invincibility, as one dashes back. I'm commentating alongside Shulk because Hash just had a vision of the future. Oh, yeah, I, I, I just see what he's doing. <laughs> I, I have a vision of the present. But yeah, all of you should be, you know, paying attention to how the better players interact with people at the ledge. Because honestly, I, I think ledge play is the area where most mid-level players can improve the most. Yeah, uh, definitely. I myself as a player would say my, my weakest point is ledge play, yeah. both defensively and offensively. Well, you're watching some uh, top-notch ledge play right now, so study up. <laughs> a nice little cape. Yeah, throwing fireballs. I love how Skipper Ooh, uses down tilt as a combo starter. It's such a fast, great combo move and heavily underrated. Mm. He's getting a little too uh, too courageous with the forward as I'd say. He's been hitting a lot of them, getting some early kills even. But uh, yeah, and that up B uh, uh, at the top. Yeah, wasn't but too but smart of a decision either. Another up B. Skipper is getting a bit too antsy. So S1. Slowing it down a bit and actually taking the lead after that uh, horrendous first talk. Ooh. Okay, up sort of down throw into up B. He has been getting kills with it. Most people don't air dodge there, but I guess it's not a true combo after all. That's what we wondered when he did it to Saru. Maybe on uh, someone like Roy, it might be. Yeah, maybe. It because might. of course, he falls a lot faster than Mario. Yes. Skipper finally getting an up smash on its own after S1 <coughs> managed to hold onto his stock for 170%. Yeah! Skipper off stage. Let's play the Trump. Oh! That was pretty. That was definitely pretty. But just, you know, let's just a slight fade back. Let's let's focus back on the ledge play for a second because, mm -hmm. like, I personally am awful at tramping. I'm just very bad at an input and even getting the the confirm. Do you after practice it though? No, because I I am a Maybe lazy bitch and yeah. I don't lab. <laughs> so saying you're I, bad I, at something. I, 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 can, I can do. Well, I'm bad at it. I'm uh, because I haven't practiced. Yeah. I'm not saying right. I'll always be bad at All it. Right. Okay. But you know, uh, that's trumping is just such a nice option to have. I myself do a little bit of tether trumping nowadays. Uh, but we can see as one, he he, has, he covered the normal getup most of the time. He got a few kills out of conditioning that and then getting the roll option. So yeah. Skipper, obviously, he is going to stay on the ledge and wait for a bit and see what happens. And that's when S1 pulls out the trumps. Mm -hmm. And the Skipper combos are falling apart against S1, who just yeah. knows uh, when he can air dash through. 
Yeah. And that's going to be detrimental, uh, even decisive and, and for Skipper in the set. Definitely, because his strongest suit is his combo game. But S1 has more than a little bit of Mario knowledge. It's been a secondary for a long time. Apparently, Mario's back in the picture. Such a great character to have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tries to spray him down. Okay, goes for the lash from. Can he get something out of it? The back air. Oh, he didn't commit. He definitely put the fear in there, forcing an air dodge. I would have liked to see him drop off with three spot neutral, for example. Right. So they're going pretty much even right now. Woo! Skipper doing the same to S1 as he got done to himself again. One. Aggressively the heading towards the ledge. The student becomes the master. Exactly. And then they roll in to get away. But Skipper already dashing back with the up smash. I love Skipper's patient use of walking in neutral. Yeah. Walking is underrated. Walking is totally underrated. Skipper not even just walking though. Sometimes he's straight up tippy-toeing. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> just like that. Yeah, yeah. No fear. All about these Randy F smash. There oh. it is. He but knew he still he had, no, he still, oh, he still had a jump, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Stay spike. Oh man. A two stock That's deficit for S1 right now. Worst edge guard of the day. And just like that. That big uh, that big old head from Mario. Not as big as his main head, but hey, still gets the job done. I wonder what's uh, I was about to say, I wonder what's under Mario's cap, maybe just a big tumor <laughs> of a head. <laughs> Alright. Skipper! Excellent arrow treat, but yeah. it was a little too late on the trigger. And S1 I like I like the attempt though, because uh, S1 has been air dodging through most of his combo, so that, that, that was a smart option to go for. What? Oh! Ooh. Crazy dunk by S1, firing back! Deficit all but gun! From two stock lead to only 65% lead. Whew, as well as bringing it back. Of course, this is a best of three, so there'll still be a game after this. Right, right, right. Even if S1 wins. And uh, I predict that the switch to Captain Falcon, may he lose. <laughs> the <laughs> Captain Falcon? Up smashing. <laughs> 44. Uh, can you imagine, Ooh. just imagine for a second, what Smash 4 would be like if you could only use one air dodge <laughs> until you get hit again. Much like an AB, uh, except you don't go into special fall after air dodge. Just exactly the same, except you only get one per hit. What do you mean one per hit? Like you, you don't get to use another air dodge until you get hit or oh land right. on the ground. Right. Mm. Uh, that would change the game, honestly. That might be a good mechanic. And we definitely know Sakurai is uh, no stranger to meddling with classic Smash mechanics, like for example the ledge in Smash 4. Great. So it could happen in the next Smash. Yeah, in like six years. Uh, I hope more actually, because I really love Smash 4 and I want to see the meta develop and I want to see a long, healthy, healthy lifespan. Speaking of healthy, neither of these players are looking too healthy right now. Both of them have passed the 100%, as one obviously in a little bit of a deficit. However, with this kind of rage, with Mario's kind of kill moves, mainly up smash, is this really that much of a lead for Skipper? I don't think so. No, no, no. It's probably going to be taken by an up smash, or maybe a back throw by Skipper. Right, he's looking for it. Back Ooh, throw! With all that rage. Not, not enough. Nope. Ooh, the up B from Skipper! Oh! Right. Yeah. Oh, barely. Yeah, the down air on. has crazy knockback growth, actually. If this wasn't Battlefield, that actually may have spelled the end! The reverse, reverse jump, cancel up smash. Beautifully done. So you want to see the Falcon? Yeah, why not? Spice it up a little. Why not? Spice it up a little, you yeah, know? Th that's how we make decisions in winner's <laughs> finals, why not? <laughs> yeah. hey, it's not my decision to make. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> but you would, you you would switch to Falcon. You just told. Me. Oh no no no! I'm not saying I would. Uh, I, I'm just saying uh, I would like to see the switch. To ah, that's what I'm saying. You're sticking with Mario, though, and I, I can respect that everything has been close, mostly. Yeah, f yeah. Second game, uh, especially. Back on battlefield, winners finals as one with the 2-0 lead versus Skipper. 
And as they are both getting more familiar to each other, and of course a great knowledge of Mario combo timing, they are doing a better and better job at escaping each other's combos. Yeah. Because most Mario combos you see have a tiny window in there where you can sneak a neutral air or an air dodge. But you gotta know when it is. Because if, or a jump. Because if you mess up and you burn that jump in a spot where you will still get hit and your jump is gone. And not having a jump versus Mario is one of the worst things that can happen to you in this game. As one starting to cover even the jump options from the ledge. As one is so scary at the ledge. Probably the scariest place to face this player in particular. <laughs> Bit of a game of chicken at this point. Oh, the tech on the slow knockback. Unnecessary, but still, good to have it. He waited too long. Of course, for all of you who don't know, you get invincibility when you hang on to the ledge. However, if you hang on to the ledge with a lot of percent, your invincibility time is reduced. Yeah, it's uh, reduced by a lot. It's scaled back by, uh, based on how many percent you have. It's also scaled back based on uh, the time in between your last ledge grab. Hmm. I did not know that part. There's a great video on there, but it's not from a really well-known YouTuber, so actually... Woo! Skipper! Oh. With the dunks! Starting off game three the same way he started off game two, with a two-stock lead. However, we all know how game two ended. So, Skipper can definitely not rest easy. Skipper is ever confident in his Mario. As he should be. Okay, F throw. Gets him off the stage. Oh, yeah. Looking for it and eventually getting it. That back throw. Okay, so uh, S1 down a whole stock. But we've seen him make comebacks in both uh, of last games. Definitely. As well as last stock is his most scary stock. But yeah, you know, I, I think Skipper could make a case for best Mario in our country. Like he's going to go, he's going toe to toe with S1, and S1 dropped Mario for a long time, so I actually didn't think of him anymore when I thought of Mario. But if he's back, you know, obviously S1 is probably going to have the better Mario. But Skipper, you know, probably one of the scariest Mario's in our country. Uh, aside from him, we have Triple A, who is a relatively new player from Groningen. Mm -hmm. Uh, so a lot of people probably don't even know about him yet, but uh, for a new player, he's actually really, really good. I think he is about as good as me, or maybe I'm just a little bit better. <laughs> but uh, honestly, probably, probably even right now, and I, I definitely think Triple A will surpass me pretty soon if he hasn't already. I need to see him at the next national. But yeah, he's a Mario player you definitely need to watch out for. Super semi. I feel. Most of our great Mario players in this country. And we have Dune as well. Yeah, Dune. Oh, Ooh, excellent. Okay. Reverse. Yeah. Jump cancel, up smash, the Mario classic. That's how we end stocks with the plumber. 2-1 right now. And as we were seeing, he got a lot more combos uh, going this, this last game. But yeah, I think most of our Marios, because you think... Mario, and you say, oh, the Netherlands doesn't really have a lot of Marios, but actually there are quite a few. They're all just really hidden and kind of wildcard players. Yeah. Like, they're not known, but yeah, at the same time, they're really you could say, pretty good. Yeah, you could say a, a bit inconsistent, but they have placed uh, well in yeah. at some tournaments. I think most of their inconsistency is actually due to how they show up at tournaments, though. I don't think the <laughs> results of Super Semi are inconsistent, per se. It's just, you know, most... Great players, good players, even the most mid-level players are there every Avalon, every G12 played. But Super Semi and Triple A are a relatively rare sight. And I think they should change it up because I think those two players have a lot of potential. So, we're finally getting to see a counter pick of S1, which is obviously going to be Smashville. The dude practically lives here. Exactly even here in game 4. Alright. Ooh, goes for the cape, but a bit too early on the trigger. Okay, but uh, Skipper's still in a dangerous position. Oh, reverse? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
As one is slowly pulling away, especially as he keeps Skipper at the ledge, mm. where he shines the most. Now that up smash was spaced in a way that I think it would have covered both Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. That the, the coverage roll. on that move is crazy. At least on Mario, whose stage roll is, you know, average. <laughs> Just like, yeah. Most of the, the average Mario. guy, you know, Mario. Oh! Hello! Almost as he sucked him into that down smash. The Mario Vortex is a real thing. And Skipper has been using his up a bit too freely. It, it, it's a good option to, to get the pressure off. Yo, of hello? You. Skipper rolls? Okay. Waits for what Skipper is going to do, but Skipper wisely jumping out at the last second. Oh, he, he was lucky that that up power through that fireball. Using the flood in neutral to uh, push him back and not letting him grab you. Okay. Okay, Skipper choosing the jump option. Wise. Oh, that should be it. Smash will no, 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 no. We saw the black flash though. Not quite, but that will be the end of that stock. Okay, so uh, possibly last game between S1 and Skipper in winner's finals. Skipper has his last talk, but he's coming out swinging. Could he? No, the no, 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 Magnus hands. <laughs> he had enough time. Okay, ooh, double back air. And I see what you mean by the back air being his best tool in neutral. Yeah, dude, you see what's going on right now. Like, please. It's back air. <laughs> Okay, the, the match has slowed down significantly because uh, Skipper is on his last stock, so he doesn't want to waste uh, his last life. Ooh. You, know, you know, when in doubt, up smash. And that time, the up be actually pulling through. He power shielded a jab and actually yeah. got a punch. Yeah, on the beautiful. The awareness to, to know how to react to that. Ooh. And the up smash classically closing that game out. S1 will be moving on to Grand Finals and we'll see Skipper back in Losers. We sure will. He will be waiting in Losers Finals mm -hmm. for uh, obviously one of the people still in Losers Brackets. I know Roberto is uh, going to play Shook right now on stream Ooh, in Losers Bracket, okay. which is going to be a good set. If I know both the players, quite the, quite the entertainers. Let's see what's going on behind me. Um, I actually don't see too many other people who I'd still expect in the brackets. So, this might already be loser semis. Mm, I don't think so. Let's wait, uh, let's wait to find out though. I don't think so. The loser quarters. Quarters, yeah, okay. It's one before. It the other one might have already been played, which would explain uh, the abundance of friendlies in the rest of the venue right now. So, Roy versus Greninja, not a match you su see very often. Definitely not. Uh, I think... I'd, ha I'd put my money on Greninja. Yeah. If, if Roy's recovery isn't that fast, with Magic makes it a little bit susceptible to Hydro Pump. If True. Greninja is crafty enough. Uh, combo game on Roy works pretty good. Uh, Roy 